what is energy energy is typically defined as the capacity for performing work since energy is an extension of matter according to the law of conservation energy can neither be created nor destroyed but its form can change essentially energy can be classified into two types potential energy and kinetic energy potential energy is defined as energy at rest or energy store thus the name potential because it is energy capable of doing work potential energy comes in many forms because of this it can be classified into three types position configuration and chemical there are more classification beyond these three but for the purpose of this video we will only focus on these type one position position of potential energy also known as gravitational energy is energy stored at an elevator height, which means an object can store energy as the result of its relative position. For example, the ball at the top of this plank has the potential of rolling down the plank if it was disturbed by an outside force. Also, water stored into an elevated hydrogen reservoir is another example of this type of potential energy. Type 2 Configuration Configuration is potential energy due to destruction of an elastic body, such as a spring on a shock straw or a rubber band on a sling shot. And lastly, type 3 chemical. Chemical of potential energy is energy through a chemical action, such as chemical energy stored in an aircraft battery or chemical energy stored in both avgas and jet fuel. Since there are multiple types of potential energy, there are also multiple formulas that can be used to calculate potential energy. Which one you use depends on the type of potential energy being calculated. Here are two common formula you will often see. Formula 1 for position, often known as gravitational energy, and formula 2 for configuration, often known as elastic energy. In formula 1, U is potential energy, where M is mass, G is acceleration due to gravity, and H is height. Because mass times gravity equals weight, this formula can be broken down further as potential energy equal weight times height. In formula 2, K is the spring constant and X is the distance the spring is stretched. When potential energy is released and causes motion, it is changed to kinetic energy. So kinetic energy can be defined as energy being used or expanded or simply known as energy of motion. For example, water pumped into an elevator reservoir to be used at a later time has potential energy. When the water is released, this potential energy is converted into kinetic energy because the water is now in motion. However much water was pumped into the reservoir and the elevator height of the reservoir determines how much kinetic energy the water has. This perfectly demonstrates the inverse relationship between potential energy and kinetic energy. When potential energy is at its maximum state, kinetic energy is at zero. And when kinetic energy is at its maximum state, potential energy is at zero. This is it for this lesson. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumb up and hope to see you next time.